Hello my dear lovely students welcome to DDC classes English in today's session we are going to start about a new series known as the daily pharma dose as the name represents this class will be always a new dose every day we will deal with 10 new questions which will arise from all over the pharmacy subjects it is helpful for each and everyone like gpat aspirants sniper aspirants di aspirants as well as the pharmacist exam appearing aspirants so never miss this session because these 10 minutes will never be a waste of time and it is not difficult to just give 10 minutes for this particular session because we will cover each and every subject and only 10 questions students I don't think these 10 questions and these 10 to 13 minutes will be very difficult for you to give for this particular session so share with your friends so that they can also prepare for their dream examinations clear so we will discuss daily 10 questions in this series and we will deal with the concepts why those questions or why those answers is correct as well as why the three options are incorrect you will get the knowledge about each and everything written on the particular question clear so get attentive always and every day regularly go with this session it will be very helpful for you and also in the comment section just tell me whether you like the session or not clear so let's start our session the first class of daily pharma dose the 10 questions the first question in front of you is the surface material from a tablet that is sticking to and being removed from the tablet surface by a punch is known as okay what is the first option says first option is the capping now what is the capping the top or the bottom layer of the tablet is separated or braked this is known as the capping what is capping the bottom or the top layer of the tablet the cap of the tablet is braked or separated from it is known as capping now we have lamination what is this lamination lamination means when your tablet is divided into many layers horizontally this is known as your lamination what is sticking when your tablet is sticked to your punching machine this is the punching machine always the side in which the drug name is engraved that side is always sticked to your punching machine is known as sticking the name represents this the tablet sticks to your punching machine next we have the picking what is now this picking picking means after sticking of the tablet in the punching machine when it comes down when it is separated from that punching machine the words that is engraved over the surface due to the moisture it breaks clear now in this capping your yeah, sorry in this picking the small part of tablet surface is sticks to the punching machine the punch tip especially where the letter or logos are engraved you can remember picking represents as the punch pick out a small piece from the tablet leaving a pit or a spot clear okay the first line the surface material from a tablet that is, that is sticking to this represents the sticking but the second line and after being removed from the tablet the surface is now punched this is known as the picking clear okay now let's get to the second question this is which disorder is characterized by an abnormal increase in the number of white blood cells white blood cells are increasing that is your wbc they are responsible for protecting your body from different infections clear what is anemia anemia is the loss of red blood cells depletion in your red blood cells either if they are destructed or the shape is changed clear next is leukemia this is known as the blood cancer and it is caused when your white blood cells are increased abnormally clear next we have thrombocytopenia thrombo means platelet p 
Pinia means decrease. Clear? So the decrease in the platelets is known as thrombocytopenia. Next we have the hemophilia. Hemophilia is known as the bleeding disorder. In this condition, whenever a person is wounded, it cannot be healed too soon due to the lacking of the clotting factors. That in that case, the from the regular blood loss, the person will suffer to a heavy blood loss. Clear? So correct answer will be your leukemia. Okay. The third question is what uh, which of the following carbohydrates is known as milk sugar okay first we have the sucrose sucrose is known as the daily sugar which you are taking on the diet that is your table sugar lactose lactose is present in your milk that's why milk sugar is known as lactose maltose is the malt sugar starch is the the, we can say the storage form of your starch which is present in your plants as well as in your animals. Clear? Okay. So, correct answer will be the lactose. Clear? Next, we have fourth question. According to the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940, if the drug is manufactured under a name which belongs to another drug, it is known as dash drug. Okay. First of all, we have the spurious drug and let me inform this is the correct answer for this question. What is the meaning of spurious drug? This is the false or fake drug. This is the false or the fake drug. How? Okay, let's just have example. If someone or let me say if I am owning a company, I am making a tablet known as Crocin, but I am registered, but uh, there is someone else named the same drug, same tablet and also name it as Crocin, then this is known as the spurious, suspicious activity. This is the suspicious activity because the company was for someone else they are making the name a uh, drug known as crocin but now someone else is making the same drug clear this is the main we can say duplicate drug okay next we have adulterated the name itself says mixed with impurity what is adulterated this is mixed with impurity clear this is your adulterated drug now what is the impurity by mistake your drug is now mixed with some fungus some dust some harmful chemicals this is it becomes now adulterated next we have the misbranded what is this misbranded this is the wrong label and the misleading label this is the wrong label as well as the misleading label now how misleading if i am saying my product is 100 percent natural that means it should not contain any sort of chemical constituent but my label says we have some amount of preservatives in the form of chemicals so this is now known as the misleading content this is now known as the wrong labeling hence it is known as misbranded next we have the poisonous okay some drugs like morphine in a small amount they are used as the medications but when it is given in the wrong dose wrong amount this becomes now a poisonous drug clear so this is your poisonous what will be the correct answer that is spurious drug clear i hope all these four options are now very much clear to you okay fine let's go with the fifth question posology is the study of poso means apart okay poso means apart as well as you can see in option we have the poisonous drug toxic effect of drug these two things represents the toxicology but dose of a drug is known as posology clear poso means how much apart and logos means signs sixth question which of the following statement is are true regarding the human heart 
heart has four chambers two atrium two ventricles very much true this is the heart divided by a layer known as septum it contains four chambers upper known as atrium and the lower part known as the ventricles clear the heart is formed of two layers no the heart is formed of three layers endocardium pericardium and the myocardium next we have it is located between two lungs yes our heart is located between the two lungs and it is slightly tilted towards the left lungs the sa node is known as the pacemaker of heart definitely the sa no sa node is present in the right upper corner of your right atrium and it is responsible to generate the pace for your heart to generate the electrical impulse for your heart by which your heart starts to pump the blood so yes the sa node is known as the pacemaker of the heart so the incorrect statement is the second one so correct answer will be one second a uh, third and the fourth that is option number a clear okay just try to understand the concept which i am telling to you right now we have the seventh question pharmacognosy is also known as study of dash okay crude drugs as we know the main chemical constituents are extracted from your crude drugs raw materials raw plants so pharmacognosy is known as the study of crude drugs clear drugs from animals is not known as the pharmacognosy because pharmacognosy is based purely on our plants okay next question erythromycin is an antibiotic it belongs to the class of okay erythromycin the race do you remember the trick the race which is given for our macrolides every mycin drugs erythromycin every drug belongs to our macrolides and this is responsible for inhibiting the protein synthesis after when the protein synthesis is inhibited the bacteria lacks for their food because protein is the fruit to them when your protein synthesis is inhibited they lacks their energy and hence the bacteria is dead or any sort of infection clear so see azithromycin clarithromycin erythromycin and roxithromycin race this is the trick for your macrolides clear and the mechanism of action is these drugs binds to 50s subunits and inhibits the protein synthesis okay now ninth question the disease caused by trypanoma pallidum this is your bacteria clear whooping cough syphilis typhoid and leprosy okay so we have four options the correct answer will be syphilis and now let's see first of all we have the whooping cough caused by bordetella petrosis typhoid fever salmonella typhi leprosy mycobacterium leprae so you need to remember this chart just take a screenshot and whenever you have a short time just go with it clear now the last question which element is known as the king of chemicals obviously we can say hydrogen because whether it can complete a valency gaining of electron losing of electron each and everything depends only on our hydrogen atom so correct answer will be the hydrogen atom okay clear so these were today's 10 questions i hope you have cleared with your concepts and i would like if you share it with your friends so that also they can practice and i can get also motivated that my students are liking the session comment in the chat section whether you like the session or not or whether we can continue with this session okay these 10 minutes are never burden for you these 10 minutes will always clear your concepts and will give something new to you so watch the session daily thank you everyone